And finally, as our architectural skills go, this one doesn't have to do a drawing. It has to do a sharing files, and that's very important when we're doing any type of work in industry. Sharing files is very important. Rarely does one person do all of the work. So a system to share files and know what revision things are at and who's working on what is very important. And we're going to get started with just the very basics of it is how do you give people permission to work with your files? And so uh, the purpose of this one is to just start working with file sharing permissions that are typical in industry. And what do we mean by that? So first, one of the most prevalent ones is anybody with the link or with access to your file can look at it. And that's all they can do. They can't mark it up. They can't edit it. They can't make comments. All they can do is look at it. And um, then um, the other one is that if they can look at it, Man, sometimes they can do stuff with it and get their their hands on it and do stuff. So it can be set so they can't download, print, or even copy it. And so if this box is checked, they can do those things. If it's unchecked, they can't download it, print it, or copy it. So it really does, you can just look at it. That's it. You can see what it is. Um, but that works really well, but you are sharing the file on purpose. And it could be that one person, your boss, a cult, somebody doing a check print, um, somebody might need to be able to edit it or even comment on it. So we're going to set this example up where I, that's me, W0384271, at apps.losrios.edu can edit the file. So that's what that's kind of what we're looking at. And then um you know, there's some file management stuff where we're saying your initials and check print. That's often done so that people know who's got it checked out, who's working on it, who do they have to turn the check print back to. And I've just utilized a DWFX as maybe a file format you haven't used much yet. And let me show you why DWFX can be cool. It, it can be read by tons of different things, but Autodesk has a free viewer and you could do stuff to it. Right now I'm in the, I'm in the edit um, thing. So if I come out of this, you can see I can, I can pan and zoom, I can measure, I can actually do measurements. Okay, that gives us, gives us dimensions. So trying to get, so it's like 45 inches across there. And I can do markups, which is really how it's used a lot. I can make a cloud around something and then maybe I can write some text in the middle of it. And maybe even move that into the middle of it, or I can use arrows to point at it. So this is sort of a nice little tool. Now, we're not going to use this tool yet. We will use this tool later on. I just wanted to show you to give you an idea of why we might be doing this. Some people might want to be able to look at it. Some people just see a picture of this, and then some people might want to be able to download it and actually do some editing. Okay, so uh, once we've done that, then you're going to check two files that are in this folder. Oh, that's the other thing. You're going to put it into a shared folder. Okay, so your yours will be in here. And then people can check to see if you've done it right. Okay, and you'll try two of them and find out if you were or were not able to download print or copy your file. If you were able to, you would go, I was able. Okay, you would just send a message. I was able. If you were not, you would send a message. I was not able. 
Okay, and this is just, you can copy and paste this, put it into a, a message for them. You can send the message by email or by comment or whatever. Okay, so this is just making sure that we've got our permissions set correctly. To set permissions, I'm showing you how to do it here, but it's under the share button. And here's the general access. Anyone with the link can edit, or in this case, I'm going to change it to view. Anybody can view this. And then um, you want to do more than that, you go to these settings. And that's where you see these collaboration tools. Editors can change permissions, yes or no. And viewers can do other things, yes or no. So that's our collaboration. It shouldn't take very long. Uh, I will make a little video for you on how to use this DWFX or how to plot to a DWFX. But as an overview, that should tell you what our collaboration tool is. So we worked on a Jamboard last week, this week, we're working in the Google Drive.